you grew up believing that you were a Lamanite, right? Isn't that what the church taught yes. you? They, they preached to you that you are indeed a Lamanite by definition? That's right. I grew up being taught and knowing um, that I was a Lamanite. As did most Peruvians, indeed most South Americans, who are not of patently European descent. Such as, for instance, in some parts of Argentina or Uruguay, Brazil, you know, there is a lot of there's a lot of uh, Italian and German uh, immigrants colonies. But most of the people that uh, live in South America have some native blood, and uh, and are mestizos. What we call mestizos. There's it was inter intermarriage with Spaniards and have some, most have some Indian blood and um, to that extent you're a Lamanite, you, were, you could be regarded as a Lamanite. Let's talk about the DNA, the DNA evidence for a minute because it okay. kind of suggests that you know the Native American people here in the northern part of you know the Americas are descendants from uh, Asian populations and the Israelite populations that the Book of Mormon claims um, isn't supported by the DNA. Um, do you think that's something that the church should have to address? Uh, yes. In fact, that question was raised at the panel presentation. And the scientists there acknowledge that the research uh, suggests that most Native American people, not just not North and South America, uh, have um, Asian origins rather than um, Semite or, uh, Israelite origins. And um, interestingly, the, the, the preface to the Book of Mormon who, that, that was written by Joseph Smith states uh, that the descendants of Lehi are the, the main ancestors of the American. Indian or Native Americans. So, you know, there's clearly a, a contradiction there, discrepancy. What is it? Are they, are, is it just that some are descendants? Um, the science indicates that most are not descendants from Israelites. Tricky question would be, okay, if it's not mainly, if it's not most people, then where are they? Who are they? And that's where the main difficulties comes because they have not been identified. There are people within the scholarly community, uh, the academics, they have their debates and, you know, and, um, and they're sometimes very, very important debates. And some do acknowledge that and are trying to call attention to it. Because these ideas have real consequences on people's lives. And uh, for instance, Brent Metcalf was there and, and he, uh, he didn't let it go by that easy. He brought back the point and asked him to address the question that they were trying to gloss over that I had made. and um, it caused some discomfort with the panel and most of the membership, uh, most of the people, the, the, the uh, audience. 
uh, most of them I assume faithful members of the church. It's very disquieting for them to, to, to see intrusions into their very tight um, value and belief system. People have, like myself, and I know of others, have been going through a, a silent, quiet, and very troublesome uh, search for identity when, when there is so much that seems confusing, so many mixed messages, so much uh, contradicting evidence that comes out. It, it just inevitably you know, triggers uh, questions and it just comes to be uh, an unsustainable situation. You can no longer ignore it. It's like uh, like the, the big elephant in the room that everybody, not nobody wants to see or right. acknowledge, you know. And um, I was trying to use that opportunity to bring attention to, to that issue of it's fine and dandy to you know have all this research and uh, the opinions, the experts, and the you know the the intellectual exercise, but but it has real uh, implications on on the way people perceive themselves, mm. on the very people that the Book of Mormon was meant to be written for, the Lamanites, because yeah. the Book of Mormon states that that's the purpose of the book. It was written for them primarily, right. so. Uh, it's it's kind of uh, uh, awkward that they would be left out of the debate, or you know, that the way they feel about the whole thing sure. would not be given much weight.